Move a stack. Move a stack. That one's already set up to move a stack. Okay. Those three are good to go. Now, since I know we have Eldridge going, uh, that was going to combine with what? To give me what? For what? Uh, Eldridge. Is going to get me. Possibly one of these. Skull King? Okay. Don't know how that even is, but okay. Uh, Charmed. Do we need Charmed? What we need is an aware drone. At the very end of this. It was done by an attuned and ethereal. We were looking at ethereal, and ethereal was going to give us arcane, esoteric, or the eldritch with the cultivated, give us the esoteric. Okay, so we just need to wait for some drones for that to be made. For the esoteric one, mysterious record the eldritch and the esoteric. Okay, uh, so we just need to play a bit of a waiting game then. It sounds like. On these little drones uh, and princesses to be made. Trying to get some comas for them at least. In the meantime, let's find out about getting the golem upgrades to actually work with picking up mushrooms. So we don't have to worry about that as a source of uh, crafting problems for lifespan upgrades. Unless so I could probably drop off. The protein, that, that, and that. Uh, the rest of the stuff I will toss into my bag here. In the event I need it. So with the inventory, let's get a Thaumium Golem. One is fine. Uh, Tesseract. One is fine. Fine, and let's see, a gather core? Let's actually grab the Thaumonomicon. Thaumonomicon is not in there. Knapsack? Thaumonomicon? No. Right there, there are pneumatic servers in there for some reason. Uh, Thaumonomicon. Let's see, Golomancy. Uh, let's see, Golem Core Gather. The other core that remain in the first core you are able to create is Gather. Golems fitted with this core will seek dropped items within 16 blocks, pick them up, place, uh, and then place them inside an attached inventory. Uh, if you right click on the Golem, okay. Okay, so that does not actually harvest said items. That is probably the Harvest Core. You seek out fully grown crops, reeds, and other commonly farmed plants within small radius and harvest them. The harvest material simply drops to the ground and must be gathered by some other means. Uh, unfortunately, they are not smart enough to replant the crops they, can, uh, they have harvested, but you are sure with a bit of work you might be able to eventually fix that bug. Okay. So harvest is what I need, not gather. Well, actually I might need gather as well. I know I made up a bunch of cores at some point, because I got tired of not having cores when I made the other golems. So I need one to break, one to gather. One to break, one to gather, one to break, one to gather. Uh, Azarak, you are going to go there. You are going to be the item I.O. You are going to be taking items and sending them only. And see, so you are there. I'm gonna push you out of the way so I can place this other one. You are gonna be that, and you are gonna be that, and let's see if it does its thing. Because there are some mushrooms literally right there. And uh, it appears that the answer to that question is no. There's going to be 
sitting there not doing anything with the mushrooms. Okay then. Will this just not work? Why I have to come up with a different method? Can't find anything online within two seconds about getting these guys to work with mushrooms. Can't right click on, oh wait, I can right click on him. Hmm. Uh, Golemancy Bell, where are you at? Golemancer's Bell, I should say. Okay. Um, does a scythe work? These mushrooms. Oh, a scythe does indeed work. I'm thinking about making a uh, dirty method for this. Uh, autonomous activator. Kinda dirty. Granted, I would want to make this out of a different material than what this one is. But before I bother with that, let me just make sure this actually works. Probably have like some dirt or something on me. Uh, actually, can I take the uh, cross wrench and change this? I can. Okay, so that would work. Uh, and then I could actually place this guy there. Who will gather up said mushrooms. Apparently, I dropped down the other one. Okay, so that will work. Uh, I need to come up with a different setup for that, though. I'm not looking for anything too extremely over the top efficient for harvesting mushrooms right now. Uh, I'm sure I could uh, set up uh, Autonomous Activator planting one of the mushrooms, another one bone mailing it, and then like a third one just breaking it down with a lumber axe. Like the uh, tall ones, but uh, it, eh? I'll pass on that. Uh, Thumbcrafter. Uh, not Thumbcrafter. Tinker's Contractor. What I wanted. Uh, let's see. What, uh, what, what had on breaking on it by default? Unbreak? Nope. Um, yeah, what's the modifier? Oh, reinforced, I think it was. Reinforced. Okay, so that is reinforced two. One, two, two. Still has two, really? Uh, the better the reinforcement, the better it will be overall. Obsidian actually has three. Based on uh, Obsidian Scythe, anyway, which is what I would be more interested in. Uh, we could certainly try to make an obsidian scythe, uh, which was that. Okay, we can make that. Uh, scythe took what again? Not that, actually. Scythe took the scythe head, which I know is in here somewhere. Or 
is it not? Did I get rid of it? Don't know why I would get rid of it. Whatever, we'll grab the scythe head. Scythe head, where are you at? There you are. Alright, requires a scythe head. And... Too tough, and... Well, both of the tough things. Why not have those in there, either? What should I do with these? Uh, what version of Minecraft is this? Uh, this is 164. Uh, so, hello? And blame Luke for the raid, huh? Okay then. So, uh, thank you for the follow. No, that was not a follow. That was a host. Thank you, Luke, for the host. Damn it. I didn't get to take a look at the uh, screen about that before it uh, went away. <laughs> Is he afraid? Is there another host? It wasn't. <laughs> uh, let's see, the scythe uh, attack is 2.5 hearts. Uh, gets the golems, thallium golems, that should be fine. And the mining level doesn't matter. Mining speed doesn't really matter. The mushrooms are going to break in instantly anyway. Uh, durability is going to be fine, I believe. We'll, uh, we'll just have to check on it repeatedly. Said Luke was hosting? Yeah, it said you were hosting, Luke. Did you host as well, JC? If so, that didn't go through. Not that I see, anyway. And, uh, yes, JC, uh, Agrarian Skies is a fun mod pack when... when it was, uh, years ago. Uh, now at this point I'm just less interested. Rated? I didn't see a raid message either. Weird. Or is it just like a one person raid? Did you actually do the I don't know. It doesn't matter. Thank you anyway, JC. Uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed this pack a lot more back when it was a bit more new. Uh, but taking such a long break from it at the coming back and then taking a break here and there from it again is not been good on my psyche for it. Uh, also, we are going to make uh, one more of uh, the sites. Sitting sites. Hmm, let's see. Can I guess where the parts were? Damn. Well, I actually wasn't too far off. So it looks like here. Eh, alright. Okay, we need gold apples. Uh, or we could just go for the diamond. The diamond and the gold. I. wait. Does that not give a thing? Two rows of new. What does that book at? Uh, Green Skies was definitely different at the time, which honestly revolutionized the Skyblock game mode as it was pretty much. Uh, niche at the time? Yeah. Just turn sideways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, scythe. I, wait, enchanted paper? Where the hell did I get respiration 3 paper? This one with, uh, nope. This is one with modifiers. I 
Oh. Wait. No, that's what I tried doing. What was this? Is it not? Diamond? Gold block. Okay then. No wonder these worked in this pack. The other one was the enchanted golden apple and a diamond block, as well as another star. I'm not going to try another star because, uh, last time we played is the last time we actually fought another's ever. So, gotta pass on that. Uh, apple. Ah, that's one that works. Okay. And to get the reinforced modifier, I actually don't remember. Uh, looking to make these as uh, industrial as possible. You will. And I think it was just uh, an obsidian large plate. That has to be put on for uh, reinforced, but I want to double check. Uh, yes, yes, it is just a obsidian plate. Okay, simple enough. Need more obsidian. Because uh, I know if I get those up to reinforce 10, was it? They're just considered unbreakable. Uh, which also means I need to use these to level them up a bit. I'm not sure I'm too worried about that, but... May as well try to kill off some time in the uh, while we wait for things to, like, level up and whatnot. Level up, brain? For the bees to fucking reproduce. God. I can speak. I, I swear. Probably can. Oh, thank you, Drew. Just need to be careful not to, uh, break too far, apparently. Uh, XP is not going up. Why is the XP not going up? How the hell did I level the other one? XP was gained by killing, wasn't it? Oh yeah, uh, Unbreakable Tools is definitely great. Okay, this is done by XP. It's been a while. And uh, considering these are done with Obsidian, they... Yeah, they're not going to take too long to actually level up to max. No, I've never heard of Divine Journey. Uh, what version of Minecraft is that for? I do intend on playing another mod pack after uh, this one is done. Uh, it probably won't be Agrarian Skies 2, honestly. Uh, which one it is, I'm not sure, and I wish these orbs would stop. Divine Journey is 1710. Ah. I was uh thinking of something a bit more newer. <laughs> Honestly, so I could actually like be in a brand new like brand new pack. I wonder with that because some of the Minecraft guys have been playing it. They have been. I, to be fair, I have not watched them in quite some time. Wow, JC. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about playing uh, stone block or crop block. Uh, 
Try to have a look. Orbs, would you like to actually come out here, please? Or, you know, be sucked up in that or something? You guys enjoy watching Orb Vision? Oh, that one's already at max. Wait, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> 